today's video, I'm going to need 26 charcoals. Thank you, Camp Made, for this nice little chimney started. This charcoal, coconut charcoal briquettes, we're going to check them out today. All right, y'all. You ready to cook? Not recommended. Oh yeah. Let's get it out. Hey y'all, welcome back to Gavin's Corner 72. Or as uh, Bone Yard calls it, CCC 72, Chef Calvin's Corner 72. <laughs> Today, I guess you can tell by the title already, we're gonna be doing some cobbler, some homemade cobbler. We're not just gonna get cake mix and put it in there and then put the topping on them, you know, and butter and all, we're gonna make our own. What we'll use today, I'll have the ingredients down below so y'all can copy and paste if you wanna try this at home. Um, we're gonna need 350 degrees, so that's why we're using 60, uh, 26, charcoal briquettes okay we're gonna need 16 on top and 10 on the bottom to get the quite required temperature now it's kind of windy out here today we're supposed to have some rain moved in tonight and some of y'all up north gonna be getting some snow but uh guys what you're gonna need for your ingredients and you can see down below two cups of all-purpose flour now what I use instead of all-purpose regular flour I use 100% whole wheat flour I don't know if y'all can see that right here but uh, already, already all my dry ingredients have already stirred up. And you can see that's kind of brown. That's that whole wheat flour. All right, two cups of sugar going here. One teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder. And I got my two cups of milk right here. I got some almond extract, vanilla extract, my topping, which today I'm gonna choose cherry topping. You can use anything you want, blackberry, strawberry, mulberry, anything you want. You know, it's up to you. Sorry for the wind out here, guys. And uh, what you do is you mix all your dried ingredients, mix everything in here, and you're gonna need some, you know, some, you're gonna need some measurements, tools, some measuring things, and some uh, spatulas and what have you. Mix it all up, pour it in the bottom of the preheated buff Dutch oven, but before you pour it in the bottom of the Dutch oven, make sure you put your stick of butter in there and melt it up real good. We're going to get to it here in just a minute, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Appreciate y'all coming by, Calvin's Corner 72, and watching me do some Dutch oven cooking. I told you I was going to do some. I do believe it's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Took about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's just that easy, y'all. I got 10 on the bottom. Got 10 on the bottom. If I can get this dust to sit down. I don't want to sit down with all them legs on. Alright. I'm hoping that's enough. With all this wind today, might be a little difficult. Alright. Alright y'all. Go ahead and put some butter in here while it's preheating. Get it good and melted. Oh yeah, it's already starting to slide. Okay, y'all. Looks like I may have miscounted on my charcoals. I need 10 on the bottom, 16 on top. It's so windy out here today, I'm gonna go with a few extra. So I'm gonna go with about Maybe four or five more on the bottom, and about 20 on top. That should do it, because all this wind's blowing, the, and I can't get this Dutch oven really close, so it's probably best to use a Dutch oven that has a flat bottom on it, so you can get you a little closer to the heat. Just a little tip. It's my first time doing this, so uh, I'm learning like you are. Now remember, you move these charcoals around, Get you like a little pair of tongs or something to move them with. 
Don't touch them with your hands. Oh yeah, and also, I wanted to add, thank you MBYR31, Matt, for this cook set, man. Y'all, he gave me this cook set as a gift. It's pretty awesome. Now, I bought the Dutch oven, but this cook set he got me, it's pretty awesome, man. And uh, what we're trying to achieve here, and I will put somewhere in here, you'll see a picture that tells you how many charcoals you need to get the desired temperature you need for your Dutch oven when we're looking for about 350 degrees and on the chart as you can see it shows 16 on the top 10 on the bottom y'all can copy and paste that if you want to oh yeah stick around the other charcoal's about ready all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and put all our wet ingredients in to the dry and I've already mixed this up pretty good with a whisk should be pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my one teaspoon vanilla. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Be very careful and don't put too much. All right. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And one teaspoon of almond extract. All right. It looks like the only other wet ingredient we got is milk. Now, I ended up putting about 18 or 19 coals on the top of my Dutch oven. And I went with about 15 on the bottom. But all this wind, we want to make sure, and I mean make real sure that it's got plenty of heat. And it should go for about 40 minutes, y'all, in the Dutch oven. It should be pretty heated enough. It's pretty hot. And the wind's really getting it out here. Oh yeah. Oh man, yeah, most definitely, butter's ready. Give it a little spray around the sides. We definitely don't want it sticking. All right, you can use butter, canola, whatever. We're gonna add the wet ingredients. Gosh, this looks good, guys, look at that. Right, there goes the wet ingredients. All we're gonna do is spoon in the cherry pie filling right on top. Put it right in on top. Not no special order. Just get it in there. This is gonna be some good cobbler right here. I'm just interested to know how it's gonna taste using that 100% whole wheat flour. I'm gonna give y'all a shot of this. Oh yeah, look at the goodness. All right, y'all, let's put the lid on it. See what she does. 40 minutes and countdown. Well, y'all, since we got 40 minutes to kill, I figured I'd do a little Puff puffing on my Missouri mirror shine. Oh yeah, corn cob pipe. I love it. Thank you very much, Yorkshire Posse. He's awesome, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh, and uh, doing a little puffing on some uh, Lane Bulk Hazelnut. God, it smells so good. Oh yeah. Thank you, Tennessee Bull, for my Tennessee Tamper. Oh, yeah. Y'all have got to try that. It's got a great taste. 
I mean, it's got a great taste. Dang it. I'm just wondering. Some of y'all remember I do uh, Q and A's every now and then. It's been a while since I've done a Q and A. I think that might be my next video. What I do is I ask some questions, and y'all answer in the comments. The only thing is. I don't answer you back in the comments. I do a follow-up video reading your comments as long as they're all clean. And then you get to see my true reaction to your comments. Oh yeah. Put Q&A down below if you'd like to have a Q&A as my next video. I'll let y'all be the judge. I'll give it a couple weeks before I read all the comments and write down how many Q and A's I get. I tell you what, if I get 15 people that says Q and A, it's on. We're gonna do a Q and A. Now I gotta think of a good question for y'all. You could put a question in there for me in the comments down below in that little box. I can't see it, but uh, I know y'all can over there. Just click the little arrow on your phone. It'll drop down, put you some uh, comments in there for me. I'll read them. I always read them. Oh yeah. I sure hope this turns out all right. I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh yeah, yeah. Something I forget failed to mention today. What I'm using is a uh, <clears throat> Cabela's 10-inch Dutch oven. Okay, this is what I'm using. Now, if you want to buy some Camp Make goods and save five percent, click the link down below. Tell them Old Calvin's Corner 72 sent you. Get over there and pick out what you want. And when it comes up with a promo code, just remember to put in take. T-A-K-E-5 and you'll get 5% off courtesy Camp May on Calvin's Corner Send me two. Hey y'all, let's do something I normally don't do Let's take a peek inside Oh Lord, look at the goodness I think it's coming along just fine guys what I did I got about yeah, about about three minutes left and what I did was I went ahead and moved that charcoal catch right up on the top I don't know why I didn't think about that before that way it's sitting right on top of the Dutch right underneath it I'm hoping it's done underneath now it looked pretty good on top y'all hang tight Cross your fingers, I am. Oh yeah, it's time. All right, y'all, let's see what she looks like. Oh man. Now that looks amazing. It's bubbling on the bottom too, I can see it. Look at that. Still doing some bubbling. Looks pretty good on top. Still kind of jiggly on the bottom. We're gonna try it anyways. Sorry about the lighting, y'all. If it ain't all the way done, I'm gonna put some more coal on it and finish it up. Now buddy, it right there, look at that. 
Ooh, dog. Man. That right there looks good. Amen. Ooh, does that smell good? Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my God. This is the first time I've ever made this. Makes me want a glass of milk. That is hot, but it's very good. Y'all, look at that. Oh, I forgot I was doing a video. <laughs> Y'all got to try this. This would be awesome in the camp, I'm telling you. you go camping and you cook it. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, y'all camp this. Y'all camp this. Uh, this is going in the blooper reel, that's for sure. Hang on, y'all. <laughs> Guys, y'all cook this. <laughs> I'm sorry for the camera mishap. Y'all cook this in the camp. And I'm telling you, everybody's going to be coming over here and getting them a plate of this. This is awesome. All we need is some homemade ice cream. This homemade Dutch oven. Cobbler, I'm telling you, it's awesome. Mm. That top part's a little bit harder. It's got a great texture. And that soft, sweet goodness. And I'm going to tell you, that 100% whole wheat uh, flour is really good. I mean, you can use regular kind, but I just had to try this. It still has a lot of carbs in it, I know, but man, it's good. I hope y'all try this. Y'all get out there and try this. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, leave me a comment down below why you don't. And remember, if you want to have, or you want me to do a Q&A, drop me a question. Just put Q&A in there. Y'all come back and see me, Scam's going to see me too. This is Dutch Oven, homemade Dutch Oven cobbler on the corner. Get on back here with it getting good.